What's going on guys? In today's video, we're going to break down how to make the waveform audio effect. Great effect. We're going to teach you how to do it. Without further ado, let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Jack. In today's video, we are breaking down how to do the waveform audio, the audio visualizer, the, the audio spectrum effect. There's a whole bunch of different names for the same effect pretty much. That's why I just said the, the, the effect in three different titles that it goes by, the audio, the, the waveform audio, waveform spectrum, or the audio visualizer. Those are the three most common kind of, uh, you know, names for it, I guess you could say. But on screen is After Effects, and I'm just going to give you a demonstration right now of the effect, just in case those three titles didn't do it for you. <laughs> hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to so another this is video. It. This right here is going to be the first official episode. So there you go. This is pretty much the effect. We could do it with the uh, with the the. Hey, what's the going on, everybody? On well. Welcome back to another video. And that's obviously me right there. That is from my first official episode of the Make Money Making Videos podcast. I'll leave the full podcast down below, and we're going to be using that audio to create this. But it's not going to be a very long tutorial. Without further ado, let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into it. So we got to make a brand new project. Go up here to composite. Go ahead, new composition, and uh, let's just make a brand new composition of 1080p. You know, it, it could really be anything. I'm just going to make a 1080p one just for the, the sake of having a whole bunch of room to work with. Then we're going to actually create a new solid. So we go to layer, new, and solid. And we go ahead and press OK. But we can, we, 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 we can obviously, uh, you know, make the color anything. I'm just going to make it kind of like a light, a light gray. Go ahead and pop it there. And we have a background now. And this is actually what we're going to be kind of putting the effect onto. Obviously, we need you know, something to, uh, you know, apply the effect to. So we obviously go here to effect and preset and we go ahead and type in audio and audio is going to come up with two options, the audio spectrum and the audio waveform. Now the audio spectrum is the one we want, but they both do very similar things. But let's go ahead and grab the audio spectrum, go ahead and drag it to the light gray solid two or whatever color solid that you particularly have chosen. And, uh, you know, we can actually start editing this stuff right away. Now, the first thing that we want to edit is we want to link it to something. So we obviously need to import some audio to actually attach our waveform to. So we go over here to the project and I'm just going to go ahead and drag in my first episode of the Make Money Making Videos podcast and I'm just going to throw it down here. Now, of course, it goes on for, for, for longer than the two minutes and 30 seconds that the project is for, but it doesn't really matter for the example. You know, it's all good. So we go to the light gray solid, go back to our effect controls, and we simply bind it. So we go to audio layer, and we click this one up here, and we go to make money making videos number one, Oscar B, which is the person who I was interviewing. And just like that, we start to see a little bit of movement. Now, if we want to see a more established um, waveform or spectrum, we can just go to composite on original. So it starts building the waveform on the actual solid layer, the solid light gray layer that we did. But at any point, if we want to export it without the background, we could just untick the composite on original. So let's just keep it on composite on original so we can see what we're doing. And let's start messing with stuff right away. I want to change the frequency bands right off the bat to 250. I want to throw that up there quite a bit. So we're pretty much times in it by five, more or less times in it by four. Then I want to actually come down a little bit more and uh, you know get the, the, the maximum height definitely needs to take a little bit of a journey upwards. And we're going to bring it up pretty significantly, actually. I'm going to I'm gonna pop it on 5,000. Let's see what it does at 5,000. So that's what what's 480. I just undid it to, to 5,000. And right away, we're starting to see it take shape. You see? So we can start scrolling through. And we've pretty much done a good job of creating a basic waveform or an audio spectrum. Some of these are dipping pretty high, as you can see. Um, we, we can actually even give this a play just to see what it's saying. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. This right here is going to be the first official episode of the Make Money Making Videos podcast. The reason I... There we go. So, I'm talking, I'm doing my intro right there, and it's looking pretty cool. Now, obviously, we can change the colors right off the bat. So, let's go ahead and just switch those up a little further. Let's go ahead and change it to maybe like a blue, something like that. Or, yeah, 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 maybe the first one's a, a, a light blue. The second one's kind of like a dark blue. And uh, you can actually change this hue interpolation down here by dragging it to adjust it to kind of make like a gradient, as you can see. So I'm just, I'm just going to drag it a little bit so it's a little light blue in the middle, dark blue on the outsides. And then we can actually kind of mess with it further by doing some of the display options and the side options. Now, digital was, uh, you know, kind of the default. We could also go to analog lines, which is kind of like a medical. Hey, look, what's going almost. on? Welcome back to another video. This right as here is going to be the that first official. Kind of like a, um, 
kind of like a lifeline where it's like boop, 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 beep, 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 if the person died, you know what I mean? So that is looking pretty damn cool right there. And, uh, you know, I, I, I might actually even make this, uh, this blue a little bit darker. Uh, just because I couldn't really see it too much. Then we could actually go here to side A and B. So that means that it's, uh, you know, putting it on both sides. But we could actually go ahead and press side A, for example. So it just pops up on that side. And we could also do it the other side by just going side B. Now we're going to get a much fuller effect if we actually do side A and B. But that's just my personal opinion. But by, by all means, I, I've definitely done the side A and the side B. But side A and B for me, the majority of the time is good. And we could also choose analog dots. Analog dots pretty goddamn weird and to really make them effective you've got to kind of get the thickness up there um and by all means the thickness is cool to be the first but i don't like that effect personally that much so personally i'm just going to go ahead and leave it on the analog lines i think analog lines is the coolest analog digital is also cool but it's a little bit fat you know it's a little bit bulky uh, but analog lines is pretty cool we could also put the thickness up to about five so we just increase the thickness of the actual lines themselves and then we could actually you know just take a step back here and we've created this effect and just give it a play. So let's go ahead and just give it a play and just listen to this for a second. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. This right here is going to be the first official episode of the Make Money Making Videos podcast. The reason I say first official is because there's already a good 15 episodes, <laughs> but they're all just the audio version of my kind of video, just actual videos, okay? There we go. So it's looking great. We just watched a good 17 seconds of it. And if we scroll through, we can see that there is a nice effect all throughout. And... Just like we uh, we said in the beginning, if we do want just the audio waveform itself, we could actually untick composite on original, and it's actually just going to give us a nice waveform, and we'll be able to actually export this with a transparent background. Hey, what's going on, everybody? And uh, you know, if you do want to export it, it's extremely, extremely simple. We just go up here to composition, go here to pre-render, and let's just go ahead and set the custom not to AVI, but to QuickTime, so we can actually take full advantage of that transparent background. Go over here. Let's just go ahead and set where we want to. Yeah, where, 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 where we want to export this to? Export waveform audio. Let's go ahead and just press that. Go ahead and press enter. And then it's just going to actually export itself. And of course, it is a waveform. So the longer the project, the longer it'll take to export. But this is looking like it's taken not too long at the end of the day. It's looking like it's only going to take a couple minutes. And the actual project is about 2 minutes and 30 seconds. But that right there is the effect, guys. We've walked through beginning to end how to create the audio spectrum effect. By all means, tell me if you have any problems in the comments section. I'll try to help you out, but it's a pretty straightforward tutorial right here. I Hopefully, you wouldn't be having any problems. I, I think I might have done it a little bit quick. Maybe you might need to watch, uh, you know, on half speed or something like that. My bad. When I get to the tutorial, I got to do it fast. But at the end of the day, thank you for watching the video. Hope you really enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Um, you know, hope you learned the waveform audio effect. That's kind of what I tried to teach you in this video. So uh, most of you probably will have learned it by the end of the video. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm tired. I'm sorry. I'm talking a little bit too much. I'm rambling. Shout out to you guys. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. Uh, this video on screen right now will be a good one for you to watch as well. Uh, I'll, I'll actually leave the, um, uh, the thumbnail playing right after this. You can just click it super easy. So if you're interested in that video, go check it out. And, uh, you know, I'll see you guys there.